Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Todoist versus Things Free and comparing them both to find out which is the best task manager. Now by the end of this video you're going to understand everything you need to know about both of these apps and you'll understand the key differences between them so you can work out which one's a better fit for you. So let's start with an introduction. Todoist is a globally recognized task management app and is trusted by over 100,000 organizations worldwide. Known for its proficiency in managing daily tasks and complex projects, it offers a variety of views including lists, Kanban and calendar. With robust task management features such as recurring due dates, task organization in sections, subtasks, email task creation and priority levels, Todoist stands as a comprehensive solution for task management. Things Free is an award-winning personal task manager that helps you plan your day, manage your projects and make real progress towards your goals. It offers a simple yet powerful interface that allows you to get everything off your mind and neatly organised. From routine tasks to your biggest life goals so you can focus on what matters today. So what are the key differences between both of these apps? Start with platform compatibility. Todoist is available on a wide range of platforms including iOS, Android, Windows, Mac and web, whereas Things Free is exclusive to Apple devices. There's also the pricing. Todoist offers a free version with limited features and a premium version with a monthly or yearly subscription, whereas Things Free is a one-time purchase. There's also task management. Todoist has robust features for task management, including labels, filters, and priority levels. Things Free has a simpler interface with features like headings for organizing tasks and a timeline for planning. The user interface is also different. Todoist has a more traditional list-based interface, whereas Things Free has a unique card-based interface that some users find more visually appealing. And finally, natural language processing. Todoist has more robust natural language processing capabilities, which makes adding and scheduling tasks easier. Things Free supports natural language input, but it's not as comprehensive as Todoist. So how does the pricing compare? For Todoist, they have three plans. The first one is the free plan, and that offers five personal projects, free filter views, one week activity history, and more. Next up, you have the Pro Plan, which costs $4 per month, which is billed annually, or $5 a month, which is billed monthly. It includes everything in the free plan, plus more. After that, you have the Business Plan, which costs $6 per member per month, billed annually, or $8 per member per month, billed monthly. It includes everything in the Pro Plan, plus more. For things, they have a few plans. To start with, it requires a one-time purchase instead of a monthly subscription. The iPhone and Apple Watch apps cost $9.99, Whereas the iPad app costs $19.99 and the Mac operating system app costs $49.99. But you can also buy the whole set and that's about $80. There's also a 15 day free trial period you can take advantage of to test the app before making your final decision. So which one's better? In conclusion, both Todoist and Things Free are excellent task management tools, each with its own strengths. Todoist stands out for its cross-platform availability, robust features, and flexible pricing plans. It's a great choice if you need to manage tasks across multiple devices and prefer a subscription-based pricing model. On the other hand, Things Free shines with its user-friendly interface, simplicity, and one-time purchase pricing model. It's a fantastic option if you're an Apple user and appreciate a visually appealing and intuitive task management tool. Ultimately, the best tool depends on your specific needs, preferences, and the device you use. Both tools offer free trials or a free version, so you might want to try them both out before making a decision. So this has been my comparison video between Todoist and Things Free. Hopefully now that you've watched this video, you understand all the key differences between them, and you should be able to work out which one's better for you and your individual needs. I also hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please comment down below to say this video helped you out, and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.